Good afternoon, good evening, greetings from Heindel Motorcycle Sales, Eaton, Ohio. So we were going to do a video about a new, well not really a new, but a pre-owned unit that we were getting in. Um, thought maybe we'd have it to offer for sale. But, for the second time in history as we were talking to another customer, uh, a couple guys down in the shop, uh, one dropping his bike off for some service, uh, another Ural owner was on ride along, and then they had their friend with them who didn't have a Ural yet. Uh, we got to talking about pre-owned bikes, he thought maybe a new one, looking at some pre-owns, and I got to talking about I had this red one that I knew was going to come in uh, sometime during the day, um, and lo and behold as we're talking about it, it rolled up on a trailer. So. Uh, this one uh, was inherited by a gentleman, and of course he wasn't a motorcyclist, so he went ahead and wanted to sell it, so we purchased it. Uh, and it has been sitting. It's a 2014. Uh, this is a Ural T. Yes, this is a 2014 Ural T. Um, you know, if you guys know much about Urals, somebody may disagree with me on that, but uh, it is a Ural T. That's how it was sold. That's how it was ordered through. Um, course it is a T model with accessories uh, so what we did when we ordered this one through is we ordered it as a base unit and then have added accessories uh, you see it has a solo seat there on the uh, motorcycle and then we added the motorcycle fairing and kind of the neat thing that we always like doing when we get one back in um, you know if it has been setting for a while of course we're going through it uh, you can even see the cobweb still hanging there on the tires. We haven't cleaned it up as of yet. I uh, went ahead and did a service on it. Went ahead and swapped the fluids out. I uh, don't like to run them too much with that old oil in it because this is a 2014 and we did sell it in 2014. And this is 2020, so it's been about six years. Um, and just in case you're curious, no, it hasn't been ridden very much. You can tell by the tires. Yes, that is accurate get the glare off of it for you 189 kilometers so it has been sitting uh, don't know all the backstory but sometimes bikes just get uh, get left parked and sitting so we're going to do a little bit of a rehab on it get it cleaned up um, did swap out swapped out the driving lights um, part of the package deal we worked out with the gentleman that's purchasing it um, we wanted to put the new lights on it I uh, told him I didn't like the old light set that was on there and I wanted to see that swapped um, so we're doing that. Uh, it had a broken parking brake cable, which wasn't uncommon on this model year. If it was improperly adjusted, uh, you would break the cable. Uh, most folks think that the adjustment is right here. Uh, that is just for your cable. Uh, the actual adjustment of your parking brake mechanism is, of course, back here. And you can see all the beautiful dust and dirt that will be getting cleaned up. Uh, first of the week, we'll have a gentleman and he'll clean it up for us. He'll do a phenomenal job it'll shine like a million bucks when it's done and the other thing i did of course the battery was dead um, we confirmed that it ran we jump started it or put a jump box on it uh, started it but then we went ahead and did our five minute battery change yes five minute battery change you've probably seen the uh maybe i'll put a card up to it if i remember to do it um, but if i forget uh, you can check out the Ural motorcycle channel uh david just did a video there on uh Changing the battery, a couple of different, talks about the different frames and whatnot and how you change the battery. So kind of informative if you're getting ready to do a battery change. Uh, we've done enough of them. I have my own technique here that uh, um, don't want to give away all my secrets, but it can be done in five minutes. It's no big deal. Swap, swap. And the other neat thing where I was originally going was uh, I would like to go through the uh, odds and ends that you may find in the trunk. Um, of course, I've already been in here just to verify that there's no personal information or anything like that. We don't want that stuff released. Um, envelope from the uh, uh, survey. Here was the 2014. Um, it was a banner year for the Euro Motorcycle Company. They made a lot of changes in 14. Went to the fuel injection. And, of course, you see there's our sticker on there. Uh, that's where it originally came from. So it's always kind of neat to be able to go through these old brochures. There's the Battleship Blue. Um, that wasn't a real popular color. That blue wasn't. Um, and then there was the uh, Asphalt Gray, Flat Black. Don't remember which color that was. 
but it goes through the details of the changes and all that and you can pause the video if you want to read through the uh, through the brochure I'll get my hand out of the way um, talks about the torque curve and all that good stuff here yeah, it talks about the brakes yeah thinking of the uh, right there looking at that front wheel had a gentleman call me the other day he was down in South Carolina and he just bought it he bought a 2006 found it used on the market and he said he'd been heating and beating on his axle and could not get it loose front axles are left hand thread lefty tighty righty loosey yeah lefty tighty righty loosey reverse thread left hand thread so keep that in mind it's just like an old buggy if you've ever worked on an old uh, buggy i know a lot of the viewers probably haven't um, but the wheels on the axle nuts on one side of the buggy go one way and the axle nuts on the other side of the buggy go the other way so the way i remember it is you turn towards the forward of the machine, that tightens. You turn towards the reverse of the machine, that loosens. So on those old axles, uh, depending on which side you were on, whether you were on the left side or whether you were on the right side, would determine which way you turned uh, the axle. Just one of those little tidbits um, help you remember how to do it. Forward to tighten, reverse to loosen. And in the steering damper, appearance-wise, um, here's the uh, patrol color. That is the red and white paint scheme. And we'll go ahead and take this and we'll go over here and um, this one's over here in the showroom or in the shop waiting to put some accessories on. Fact is I'll probably do that this evening, put the accessories on this unit. Uh, but we've had some customers think that the uh, paint schemes were the same, but you see there on the tank, uh, see how the, the old style in the brochure had the white stripe down the center of the tank. Um, and then the one that you're viewing, the real motorcycle, not the one in the uh, brochure, but the one that I'm showing you here, that is actually terracotta metallic. That is not red. It's more of an orangish, copperish color. Uh, it's kind of hard to see in the uh, in a different light, um, but it's actually a copper color. And we've got our file file folder down there where we're uh, got all the goodies that we're going to have to put on it. So, or we're going to get to put on it, not have to put on it. Uh, gentleman made some neat upgrades to this. So. And back to our original uh, video here with the 2014 Ural T. Again, this one was going to be available, but uh, just so happens that there was a gentleman in the shop the day that it came in. Um, so it is now sold. Uh, talks about the patrol. There was a sage green. If you guys have a sage green one and you need a factory fairing, I think I have I have at least one. I may have two of the uh, original factory fairings uh, in that color match if you need it. Oh, the beautiful M70. Hmm, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, but this also details some MSRPs. Um, these were, of course, Ural's MSRP. This would have been prior to freight and setup. Um, prices haven't changed a whole lot. I mean, this was back in 2014. Uh, so you're looking at $16,000 MSRP for a gear up. Uh, $17,549 uh, would be what you're comparing that to. Uh, so really, that's not that big of an increase since 2014, um, six years ago. So, And then there's the 2014 technical specs. And there's the red. This is the same red as this 2014. Uh, those reds are the same. Um, then it had the different, different paint scheme there. So that's the end of the brochure. No, I guess there was one more page. Okay, there's a close-up of your sage. And there's your model comparison chart. So now that we've been through the old 2014 brochure, uh, this looks like this was another brochure. This was the 15, I think, brochure. Um, there's another 14 brochure. Uh, yeah, I can release that. Uh, there was the temporary plate off of it. Uh, that was back in, looks like I issued that June 7, 2014. A gentleman held on to it. So basically this unit, uh, we're selling it again after six years. So, And here was the survey. Uh, see we'll leave that out the new owner doesn't need that but uh, the new owner can have the survey if he'd like it there um, then of course we have the original owner's manual um, 2014 Ural owner's manual see right here gear up patrol Ural T there was a Ural T in 2014 2014 was the last year for the Ural T another little factoid there um, so of course the owner's manual it details the this would have been the first year for the fuel injection um, details all that good stuff service schedule uh, see what the service schedule was on this um, I believe this had a different service schedule no it's the same 
Um, this is the same service schedule as what they're running. Other than the fact of when they originally started thinking about doing this, they were recommending the first service at 625 miles, 1,000 kilometers, 625 thousand kilometers 625 miles get that correct there um, that's what they were originally recommending the first service now we as well as euro we recommend that you do the first service at about 300 um, even as low as you know two to three hundred uh, oil is cheap and it's also a good time to be able to go over your nuts bolts screws fasteners uh, that sort of thing um fact is while we're talking about that i was just out doing some more miles on one that a gentleman wants us to put some miles on a little while ago and that's this 2020 ural ct od and i happened to stop to fill up the fuel tank because we're getting about where we want to be on mileage to go ahead and do a fluid change and i happened to look back and i did see that there was some uh, oil on the on the final drive and on the wheel um, we knew the oil level was correct because I checked that so it was at the proper level uh, today the temperature ambient air temperature I think uh, when I stopped at my grandmother's to mower grass I think she said she had 84 degrees outside on her thermometer uh, so we'll go by that grandma's always correct as you know um, and if you don't think grandma's correct do not disagree with grandma don't ask me how I know that uh, but nonetheless when it does get hot uh, this will generate more heat especially at 60 miles an hour uh, when you've gone four or five miles at 60 mile an hour there'll be a lot of heat generated so the oil is expanding uh, so what we went ahead and did Ural has a and of course they'll cover this under the warranty if yours is doing this uh, you can have your dealer do this um, or we'd be glad to uh, sell you a kit if yours is out of warranty. What we do is we put a bellows on it. Uh, we just like the way this looks a lot better. Uh, Ural has the same fitting that goes in um, and a clamp that goes on their hose. And then what they recommend you do is run a hose up. Um, and basically the hose is acting as a catch can. Well, our bellows is doing the same thing. Um, if this really starts to expand, it will expand up. Um, of course, when it drains back down, it drains back down into the... Uh, into the final drive case so you don't lose all your oil. Um, that's a Polaris part, a uh, Polaris four-wheeler part. Uh, you'll see those on the final drives front and rear. They run those to keep water from getting into the unit. So we'll go back over here and finish up, see what else we had that came in with this, uh, this 2014 Ural T. Very good machine, uh, low mileage, just did a full service on it, put a new battery in it. Uh, like I say, swap those lights out and all that good stuff. So. Do have the original instruction manual that go with it and look like this customer that owned this before must have purchased a repair manual um, so we'll go ahead and throw this in on the deal the unit did also have a, uh, a battery tender plug um, so we left that on there don't know don't think the battery tender didn't quite function the way it was supposed to so we threw that away but it does have a battery tender plug so if the new owner's watching you do still have the battery tender plug um, here was a neat article I don't remember what magazine this was in looks like it was in motorcycle consumer news I think somebody told me motorcycle consumer news doesn't exist anymore I don't remember maybe I'm wrong uh, so don't quote me on that but anyway this was looks like they did a review on a 2012 Euro gear up World War II tech and Russian manufacturing make love not war don't know the gentleman that wrote it but uh, probably an interesting guy after all, to do a review on a Ural motorcycle, don't you have to be interesting? I don't know. Anyway, we hope you guys find this, uh, some of these videos entertaining. Um, not only do we love selling the Ural product, uh, we'll keep parts and accessories on the shelf, uh, sell you new bikes and all that good stuff, but we also like to have fun with it. Um, so we add a little bit of levity to all of our videos. Um, if you don't like it, tell us so. Uh, definitely comment. Try to keep all the comments uh, copacetic. Don't want to have to go through and delete any nasty comments for no reason. Uh, if you like what you see, definitely comment as well. Um, and give us a thumbs up on the video if you really like the video. Uh, definitely uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we've been growing rapidly as far as our subscriber count. We're getting close to 10,000. And it almost seems like every time you get to 10,000 subscribers, you're supposed to do a 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, so we don't know we may have something in the works uh, depends on how quickly we reach that number which I sure should be here in the next few days get us the 2014 Ural T red in color 
pre-owned 189 kilometers has now been sold. Hindo Motorcycle Sales, Eaton, Ohio. Thanks for watching.